This is the largest crop of offshore wind turbines in the world, known as the Hornsey Wind Farm. It is hypnotizing. More than 300 turbines spread across 335 square miles, generate enough electricity to help power more than 2 million homes a day. <laughs> beautiful day. Yeah, beautiful day. To understand the power, size, and upkeep of this evolving technology, we geared up on land and traveled 90 minutes on the heaving North Sea with 24-year-old Bridie Salmon. Her job is to scale and service the turbines. My job, with the help of a little anti-nausea gum, was to simply hold down my lunch. This is choppy out here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel um, okay. <laughs> it's more important how do you feel? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, like I said, I'd like to think I've got my sea legs on. Yeah. So, uh... When your last name is Salmon, negotiating rough waters is sort of in your DNA. Bridie's great-grandfather worked on the Grimsby docks. Her dad owns this 100-year-old smoked fish shop in town. Bridie was bartending when she decided to apply to an apprentice program to be a turbine technician. She was one of seven people selected from a pool of 500. Should we have a look around here then, guys? Mm -hmm. The apprentice program combines classroom instruction You've got a big drill bit on the bottom and it's, and it's spinning with hands-on work at sea. But we soon learned that Mother Nature is a temperamental teacher. The weather here is ever changing. Yeah, 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 we're holding on for our dear lives. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's the North Sea. It's, it's not something we can control. So every day is different, and it can change like that. So it's just part and parcel of the job. Um, anything to get these things turning. This is the environment for wind turbines. It's got to be windy. 